so damn loud in here that we have to do this episode in the Tesla. Hey, it's part one of the U.S. government. Now, we will go very in-depth. We will be breaking that damn iceberg. Before that, we have to get a surface-level understanding of what this thing is. All right. So, what the hell is the U.S. government? Which is just scratching the surface, the tip of the iceberg. Not even piercing the tip, just the molecular atom right at the speck, right at the top of the iceberg. So, today, we will just be getting started. We will definitely go more in depth as this series goes over and over. Now, today, we will get a surface level understanding of the three branches of government. So, let's talk about it. The government, what is a government? Well, a government is the governing body of a force meant to serve the people and keep the nation straight. Now, what about the U.S. government? Well, it swears that in the U.S. Constitution, it will, number one, form a more perfect union, number two, keep justice, number three, ensure peace, no domestic violence takes place, Number four, ensure that the army is, well, the army, fund uh, defense. Number five, it uh, will uh, sort of give welfare to the people, basic needs of life like food, water, etc. And number six, it promises to let future generations thrive. All in the preamble of the Constitution, just a few words. When the Continental Congress saw this uh, kind of uh, constitution, it was like, oh my goodness, frick this, we have to change it. So uh, one day, Alexander Hamilton uh, called a meeting sometime around 1788, uh, I'd say around September or October, just like it is now. They made a meeting somewhere around June 21st, 1788, saying, Oh my freaking god, this constitution is crap, we gotta change it. And so, they did. They changed the constitution to, to say that the military is funded, etc, etc. Because this constitution had many problems, including that the military wasn't funded. There was no rule for funding the military. Thus, the many people were leaving the army because they weren't getting any wage. So, the new fledgling country was in a very precarious state, but thankfully the new constitution was fixed. However, the nine states that existed at the time had to ratify it, so it took a long to process. But finally, on September 17, 1789, which coincidentally was yesterday, which is why we celebrated Constitution Day, was when the final state Delaware ratified the Constitution, and BAM! America! <laughs> so, now, Alexander Hamilton wanted to make sure that no single piece of government actually had the, all the power. So, they uh, created a series of checkings uh, and balances, where they basically just sliced the government up into three pieces. That's what we will be talking about today. Alright, so first, we will be talking about the judicial branch. What's the judicial branch? Well, what it does is, well, we'll have to find out by first looking at the first piece of government. What was it? Well, Congress, which is the... It's kind of pathetic when you're in a Tesla, but anyway, it's the legislative branch. Now, the legislative branch is basically made up of two parts. The upper house, the house of representatives, and the lower house. Upper house, which is the senate, which contains 100 members, for two for each state, and the house of representatives, which contains 435 members. Uh, every state has a few members based on their population. Wyoming doesn't exist. Anyway, uh, after that, we have the second branch, which is the... Okay, okay, no. That would be the executive branch, 
which enforces laws. But the thing is, I never said what Congress actually does. Congress is the pl place that um, where the laws are made. You know, where all the lawmakers come together and uh, start squabbling. Hey, freaking God, we need this law right now. Otherwise, people are going to shoot each other to death. Yeah, no, seriously. School shootings are a big problem. We need to fix that. But, anyway, Congress makes new laws. However, these laws need to go through a process before ra actual ratification. The, a process that is carried out by the judicial branch. Which basically is the thing that modifies, adjusts, and uh, <coughs> does stuff to all the laws. Now, well, the thing is, in it here are nine justices. Not 535 representatives, nine justices. Now, these nine justices all uh, serve for life, unless they resign. However, <coughs> the thing is, almost no justices have resigned, ever. And the, the funny thing is, any person can be, uh, <coughs> any single person can become a Supreme Court justice. Me? Yup. Him? Yup. Um, that homeless Bilbo Baggins on the street? Yup! Uh, they just need to be picked by the president. Which is honestly hard for that homeless Bilbo Baggins on the street. <laughs> anyway, the, the thing is, it has nine justices. I'm to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. <laughs>